so in my clinical work as a psychiatrist, I uh, have a lot of contact with people uh, who have depression. And through my research with MS, um, I've become very familiar uh, with the literature in terms of just how um, prevalent uh, and how common, how underdiagnosed and undertreated depression is for people with MS. So there appears to be something very specific um, about the disease process of multiple sclerosis that really increases uh, the risk uh, of depression, much more than people who have other uh, chronic illnesses. So I feel quite passionately about um, the prevention uh, of depression for people with MS and also people who do have uh, depression being able to have access um, you know, to treatment uh, and, and management of depression. We know that it has a huge impact on quality of life for people with MS and that it actually has a direct impact as well on um, the physical illness itself. So you, a, a sort of vicious cycle can kind of uh, develop where depression and the physical illness or um, of MS can, can feed into each other. So as part of the Neuroepidemiology Unit, uh, we looked specifically at people's risk of depression and we were able to gather a lot of data uh, looking at people's lifestyles and what the associations were between modifiable risk factors and depression risk. And what we found is that uh, people who are living a, a very healthy lifestyle that's in line with the Overcoming MS program had significantly lower risk of depression. So this was very consistent across all the modifiable uh, lifestyle risk factors. So people who were eating a, a very healthy diet had a much lower risk of depression. And the same was seen with people who were exercising uh, regularly, people who were supplementing their diet with omega-3, and particularly flaxseed oil uh, was in fact more beneficial um, and showed statistical significance uh, over uh, fish oil. Uh, people who were supplementing with vitamin D also had lower risk of depression. And if you were a non-smoker, you had a lower risk as well. One of the most significant factors um, was level of social support. And we found that if people had very poor social support and were really isolated, that they certainly had a higher risk of depression. And in our analysis, looking at the different types of disease modifying uh, medications available for MS, there was one medication, uh, interferon, uh, which was associated with a higher risk of depression, which is consistent with other uh, research in the literature. We looked at uh, meditation um, and found that people who were meditating had a lower risk of depression. And every uh, factor really uh, in the Overcoming MS program, um, we were pleased to discover was very consistent with, um, with what we recommend in terms of overall health outcomes for people with MS, um, but specifically for reducing depression risk. So this uh, uh, was a fantastic paper that we've been able to publish uh, in BMC Psychiatry. Uh, it was chosen as the editor's pick uh, and received a, a great review from the MS Society in the UK. And it really forms a, a strong um, basis for both clinicians uh, and people with MS to be able to uh, modify their lifestyle factors, to be able to reduce their risk uh, of depression and I'd go one step uh, further than that to say that along with other uh, literature in the research, that even for people who have depression, there's certainly, I believe, benefit to be had for modifying your lifestyle in line with our findings um, to be able to manage depression if it's something that's already uh, a problem for people uh, with MS. So in our paper, uh, looking at the modifiable uh, lifestyle risk factors for MS, we found that there was a significant association uh, and potential for people to uh, reduce their risk of depression. So the potential pathway um, or biological um, explanation for how this would work, I think lies in a number of factors. But specifically, I think the main one uh, relies on the anti-inflammatory uh, effect of, of modifying your lifestyle in a very healthy way. And there's a lot of emerging research looking at depression uh, as being in part uh, an inflammatory uh, disease, which therefore would, would benefit 
from modifying your lifestyle in a way that's going to reduce that inflammation. We also know that MS uh, it has an uh, inflammatory component and so I think there's two sort of pathways uh, in which um, there's benefits through modifying your lifestyle. Given of course the, um, the relation between um, depression and, and MS as well. So the likes of uh, exercise, vitamin D in particular, uh, meditation uh, and managing stress, um, a, a very healthy diet, particularly these factors I think um, there's good evidence around the pro uh, or the anti-inflammatory effect and the benefit that that would therefore have both for reducing depression risk and also uh, through another pathway directly benefiting uh, MS.